We start today's pod with a PSA from our friends at D&D colon hat for Honor Among Thieves. We play heroes in our movie, but all of you are the real movie heroes because you're here seeing a movie the way it was meant to be seen in a theater on a big screen surrounded by other movie fans eating popcorn that somehow tastes better than popcorn anywhere else. I love going to the movies, so do they, because they're the heroes, your movie heroes, and we thank you for being the best part of going to the movies. And now please enjoy Dungeons and Dragons, colon, Honor Among Thieves. Good evening. Forget everything you think you know. What? That's easy. Everyone is raving about Dungeons and Dragons. It's the kind of epic fun you've been waiting for. Not, not protected. Basic five two nine down. or whoever that guy was. Mm-hmm. Beckna. <laughs> None of us can say our lives gone the way we don't. I did think you'd serve longer. You got an early release. Good behavior. Yeah, baby, good. It charms its way into your heart. Oh God, he kiss you. Try it. The most Chris Pine, a Chris Pine performance has been in a long time. Just because that sentence is symmetrical doesn't make it not nonsense. <laughs> a crowd pleaser that actually pleases. <laughs> it's a gift for every <laughs> one of you. All right, take me down. This is absurdly high. It's not what we discussed. It's the best movie of the year. Well, it was only March at the time. Anything you want to add? I'm good. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. That PSA that I gave you earlier was actual. It was like what Tom Cruise did before Top Gun Maverick? Correct. It was yeah. this cast of Honor Among Thieves, and they and they said that at the first of the film. So it was real. I, I, I think it's funny to consider, yeah, you're a hero for giving us money. You're the hero. <laughs> for bringing Thank you for keeping us dollars. millionaires. Yeah. There's never been a better time. Welcome back to Should You Watch This with the Popcorn Priest, the weekly podcast where movie enthusiasts, ex-movie theater projectionists, new and old friends take the time to talk about a movie that we just watched and answer that very question, should or shouldn't you watch this? I don't know why the applause is going for the whole time but i would like to welcome back members of the guild that's right taylor the impaler <laughs> and sirloin of beef barines uh, okay. welcometh to the showeth my Th- friends thanketh thanketh thee thanketh, I, thanketh thee for thine divine presence. we thanketh thee for thine divineth cometh here Presence. well we can now speak freely as we are in spoiler zone not that that would matter i don't there's not too many spoilers. <laughs> I mean, it's just a quest. You kind of get the gist of it from the trailers to what's going on. There's a lot of like MacGuffin-y things. Oh, absolutely. Like yeah, one yeah, that, MacGuffin that's the thing, to another. <laughs> which is what made it seem like it was like they, the, the idea behind this definitely seems to be like, okay, we're going to make a movie that's not like a fantasy like sto- like movie set in D&D. It's going to be a D&D campaign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like oh, this is totally. like this is like a series of things you would go through while so that's playing, how while you've while arrived playing the game. In the dungeon There's with the fat l- dragon. Lots what of do you do? Lots of MacGuffins, lots of like devices. So is that how it really... You, you, yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're basically... I've never going, done a campaign. You're going yeah. from like one that's set the, piece to the next the, yeah, and you're and rolling that's to like determine the, how it goes. the change in scenery like being so drastic and like not even making sense. Like mm. it's, it's a lot of video gamey stuff and that's the point. Like that seems to be the intention. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Like it's it, all those different Iraqi so like, war yeah, dollar like, places. But the, the, like the one part that was made just probably the closest it gets to just like straight up like winking like 5,000 times with both eyes at the audience is, <laughs> is the paladin. On, okay. the, on the bridge. Really? Okay. When he starts describing like the mathematical uh, rules for yeah. crossing the bridge without setting and up I, the trap. That's your dungeon master. Right I, there. Felt, <laughs> I felt that. Right play. I felt that even yeah, though, that being is, an outsider. That is knowing. Like, I mean, that's not like the, uh, they, they knew that that was probably as far as they were going to take it. And it does seem to be the case, but. And I like the joke, like that he steps on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like collapses that, that's it. another it's, reference to like, yeah, what a paladin is in that. Like it has the stereotype. That's what I love. It's a lot of like Frank Drebin and Nick and gun humor where he's like guard this helmet with your life and says okay yeah. hold on yeah. to this for me for a <laughs> just like remotely pivots just like ruining the joke right yeah. he just finishes 
Yeah, I didn't know that paladins were that powerful in D and D. Uh, it just depends, but it depends on. I mean, it's it depends on nothing is really that bad. I mean, that's like another thing with like the sorcerer they're there with being bad at magic is that when you're playing the game, you are at a low level and bad at magic. So it's uh, okay. So it works on those well, levels. You're too. slowly building your character up. As yeah, you know. yeah. How long does it take you to like? It's, you never do because you end up stopping. You like can't there's get, cam- can't get schedules ironed out, and then uh, <laughs> there's there's campaigns that yeah. go on for years. Yeah, there of are time. people who like are yeah who like get really into it and have a really dedicated friend group and can go for it. You can go forever because it just ba- it's based on it's, one of the one of the players just writing a story that just writing a story and that they yeah. play through. So the dungeon master's How taking notes. You just keep going. It's, I mean, it's a it's, it's a lot of work. It's a collective social collaborative storytelling effort you, it's a friendship it's thing. basically like you know how will we come together and watch movies that's mm-hmm. true that's about we, how much what if instead invested. we did a bunch of math and <laughs> and a bunch of and, imagination and, and which did we a bunch don't of have. bunch of thinking and and planning and imagination okay that's, we picked out on and, junk yeah, food the entire time creative writing yeah we can't do any of that stuff so wow that's but, but i mean getting, it can be that involved getting mad at other mind. players because they're ruining the game you just blew my mind. Even though some <laughs> some players like to clear their throat more than others, and it doesn't necessarily ruin the board game for the rest of people. Uh, that's funny. Uh, well, that's funny for me because I cut out all of your throat clears. Good. Uh, I want the uncut version. That's right. They were, they're locked in the vault. Oh, man. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. About right? the D&D script or the length. Of the oh, I was going to say about um, the dungeon master. Mm-hmm. So the game master, he doesn't get to play. That's lame. In a way, they get to play the most. He's controlling <laughs> the entire game. Like basically. every He's... like NPC that you encounter, they are in control of. Oh, so they they roll for the... they are the like the the god of the they world. Can, they can make they, changes. They move every piece. But like, wouldn't you want to play sometimes? Maybe. But there's there's that. But there's some people that love. Yeah, there's like, people just who watching just other people. They play. like they like doing. And yeah, some people it goes to their head. You'll hear like, I need horror to, stories about dungeon masters that make the game just a living nightmare because it's yeah. all they, everyone's got to bend to their will rather than letting other people yeah. have fun. I'm curious. I, I need to see a little more into this world. Go on YouTube. So this, this, and like, say, like, there's, this 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 movie just let we. I was talking to Nicole. It just missed the reveal at the end. Where it pans like out, like the Lego movie, it, it's like, like in the Lego the fourth movie, wall, yeah, where it goes and it shows that it's being played by people because it's essentially everything up to that. Dude, how did you suddenly become so good at magic? Yeah, all like, of a sudden, right? It's like of again, like the medieval, like set medieval that fantasy sucked settings, balls. but like all the characters, it would have been bad. It would have it, 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 it would not have worked. I am glad that they did not do that. <laughs> that sucks. But like, I mean, that's the thing with like how it's a medieval setting, fantasy setting, but they all have like modern sensibilities because I mean, mm-hmm. that's the players in like that's the players that's how that's going to be. Like, into the you game. can try to mm-hmm. like. You're like it. we're gonna take this seriously. Like you're like in like drama club or something, and you're like, like we're gonna act out like Lord of the Rings or something. But no, it's mm. it's you end up with cracking jokes and stuff like it's that. It's people that so. think they're more clever than they are trying yeah. to come mm. up with inter- and coming up with like clever, cl- clever solutions to problems. Yeah, I All use right. my invisibility spell you, to get past the boulder. Can you like do that? Can you say, okay, I'm going to do these things, and then you? It's, it's not just yeah, all rolling the, the dice. It's, it is rolling the dice. Yeah. So you're saying like, I I want this action to actually occur. And, and I want like, my character to gain. And these based abilities. on what stats and abilities I have, I have some certain like I need to roll this for it to actually happen. Yeah, I need to roll a 17 to be able to jump over this. So it doesn't actually. That is actually something that's missing. Is like things going like comedically wrong for no obvious reason, which can happen because again, it is a big game based on dice like rolls. a fat dragon. <laughs> showing up out of nowhere what about everybody. what about like you know how in improv when someone doesn't say yes and mm-hmm. and keep going what if someone's an idiot in the game and keeps that's, screwing up i mean the, that's the that's thing. the point of the dungeon, yeah, master, the dungeon master to keep the game flowing is, to kind of like put people in check you can, if they're going yeah crazy. you can like because it, it's not like hard and fast you can ignore certain rules if you think that it makes like the experience better okay it's like so it's like it's like ah you know it's like when like movies <laughs> disobey rules and like it's like Indiana Skip Jones just pulling out his pistol point. and just shooting the sword yeah, guy out yeah. of nowhere to just yeah, putting it to like, an end to right. a lickety split. So, you know, I think it has, that is definitely part of what went into making this. That was definitely the sensibility they were bringing to it. All right. Yeah, if it had tried to be like a self-serious movie called Dungeons and Dragons, I don't think you could do it. I no, don't, heck no. I don't think People would be could. bored. Like that one movie you said that was crazy and weird uh the, what was it war, war warcraft, warcraft it, world yes, of warcraft that is actually warcraft. that's a great but, example but of, that movie of, that movie where they try to do it super serious that, does no, not work well that movie they pandered to 
the actual like yeah, niche crowd that actually understood the story and yeah, what was yeah. going on because they play it so often. So Whereas any mainstream person that has no clue, that movie, you wouldn't have any idea what was going on. Shocking. I had to have shocking how incomprehensible. I had to have the whole plot explained to me afterwards because I had no clue what joyless. was going on or taking it's a joyless place. Joyless movie. Wow. Anyway, you should watch it. It made money in China and they were going to make another, but then I think that got canned. Uh, well, that yeah. goes to show how well they did with this one. Yeah, I think they made this it. one's this way. Yeah. This one's way more. So accessible you didn't to even everybody. know that they were doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So like you did. Like, like that guy complained about like the plot not making sense. It's like that's not a. It's like but, it's a tabletop game. It's not about a plot. But that's like, the thing know. about dungeons is it can you can have any number of stories because there's all these different lands at yeah. play and you can mm. there's no like consistent theme yeah, that follows just, that. You yeah. can start a new story over here any which way. Yeah, the game's you've really got, just a, re- a setting and then a it's bunch, yeah, and you're basically and coming up with the characters yeah. yourselves. So you do everything else yourself. So wow, my mind is. You're gonna get into it now. I, I, I want to play it. I just, <laughs> I'm never around. I wouldn't. I'd have to do like yeah, Zoom, just, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, video games are. I find. How's Breath of the Tears of the Kingdom? It's great, but I'm just gonna say like no, like there's like dungeons like Icewind Dale is a is a computer game, and so is Baldur's Gate, which they reference in this. Hmm. And wow, that, that's where you're controlling a party, and but like the the dungeon master game master there is a computer, and the people who made it. Hmm. <laughs> wow. So I mean. Now you're losing me. Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's not as crazy. We're, we're bombing. You something, Pandeo. Let's get into popcorn trivia. I've got four. All righty. Despite not being involved in the production or credited for his work, Forgotten Realms creator Ed Harry Greenwood oh. loved the movie. Oh, good. Saying it was a film that D&D fans could be proud of without having to defend the game to non-fans. And he even mentioned that he planned on seeing it multiple times. I think it, yeah, I think it does like convey like, it's like, it's fun. It's like, it's like you're playing pretend with your friends, but there's like more to it than that. <laughs> mm-hmm. He said he was it's also game, happy to see his creation adapted faithfully to the big screen. It's a see, video. Even he agrees that the way that it's portrayed with like, I like modern, that. like, yeah, trying to play along with stuff. Here's one. <laughs> the film shares shooting locations with the Harry Potter series, especially obvious during some interior scenes which are the exact match for the hallway scenes from Hogwarts. Did you know that before when you pointed that out? Because I thought you were like, I'm like hey, it just looked like that. I don't well, know. Here's, <laughs> here's the confession. You cheated. I, I did the research, but okay. when I saw it, I instantly uh, I knew. See. I was okay. like, oh, that is it. That's okay. where it was. So yeah, was, uh, partly... The hallways didn't look familiar, but that... I mean, yeah, I was going to be like, yeah, that's style that. for sure. I didn't know that you knew it. Well, you've, you've deceived me. <laughs> kind of. I, I made the aha moment, but I also knew I was looking for it. So John Francis Dale, 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 Dale cited The Princess Bride, Monty Python, yes. and The Holy Princess Grail. Princess Bride for sure, yeah. The Lord of the Rings and Indiana Jones as influences on the film. Yep. I, I buy all that. I buy I buy all that for yeah, a dollar. Like the Princess Bride, I think it, that, it reminded me of that too. Because that's an other movie that's like very knowing of what it is. It's not based on anything other than like fairy tales. Mm-hmm. But it's not too, it, it hews close enough that you're like, it still works, you know, yeah. without it being like too like in jokey and I mean, it's a fun it's adventure. Insu- insufferable. If there was any movie that they could draw on, The Princess Bride is, is it's, that. That's, yeah, that's the perfect. Movie. Yeah, that's like the, you know, the yeah. fantasy. It, not Your Highness, which is another movie this reminded me of, but <laughs> only because Your Highness was bad. It was. It was it, not. It good. was interesting. It could have been. Your but Highness. It was bad. The one with, with Danny, Danny McBride, McBride and James oh, Franco. That, so terrible. That was hot garbage. What? It was a very promising premise, but they did not make good on it. The trailer was cool. Yeah, it was like it's like I will quest the way I like, and you can quest the way you like. Yeah, just watch the trailer yeah, on that it, one. It does not make good on that. All right, last but not least, all the spells used in the film, which, while largely unnamed, are all spells used in the Dungeons and Dragons pen and paper RPG. Does hmm. it say that about the animals in it? Are they all from like the bestiary compendium or whatever they have in? Because I, did I didn't recognize most of those animals, and I'm just assuming that those are from that. <laughs> I did not go far into that bestiality. Oh, okay. <laughs> bestial <laughs> or bestial I mean yeah excuse me into the bestial In bestiality the be- <laughs> <laughs> dude oh shoot I'm gonna it's cry sing- here. singularity of I'm bestiality gonna- <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go let's get into popcorn beefs <laughs> where's the beef hey where's the beef alright I only have one beef 
one singular beef. Listen to this. You guys are it's gonna blow your mind. Huge Grant confessed in an interview with the British edition of Total Film magazine that he lost his temper on set on the very first day of shooting. While it turned out to be something of a misunderstanding, Grant has emerged as embarrassed and apologetic for yelling at someone whom he thought was a film executive. It turns out she was just a local chaperone. Oh, no. Grant summed up the situation like this. I lost my... No, I was going to do his voice. I lost my temper with a woman in my eyeline on day one. I assumed she was some executive from the studio who should have known better. Then it turns out that she's an extremely nice local woman who is the chaperone of a young girl. Terrible. A lot of groveling. I did a Christian bail, he says. (laughs) My beef is that people... Dude. But you know what? If If it had been an executive, I kind of would have been okay with it. I mean... Executives should. Yeah, if it had been in Christian Bale, he, the, then it's there would have like, been a it's big like scandal. It's like their boss screwing up. See, then it's okay. You I should have know. the ability to chew out your own boss. Like I get. Here's where I, I think it's okay when when pe- people are trying to get a, sh- a shot, and there's a lot going on, and there's a lot of money involved in the shot. That's where I think you should be able to be like, listen, we're all trying to get this done here, and you're screwing it up. <laughs> But when you're just an a-hole, that's not cool. Well, she should have known better. He could have been not, having a bad day. I wasn't an executive. I it was if he, day one. I, actually, I wonder if he just the made... The first day of shooting. But there's, a lot of, that, there's a lot of pre-production that goes on I wonder involved. if he like, not like he shows up on day if one. If he talked to a on. publicist to like, okay, how can I make it sound like like what I was think What I would have been doing would have been acceptable to most people. It's like one of those slimy executives was there and that's who you thought it was. And cause no one's going to sympathize with an executive. So, no. so that's the only reason that like he can say that like, I thought it was a dirt bag. I know. But <laughs> the, I thought it was one, some corporate like, dirt bag. The man, I, the man who considers Paddington two to be the height of his film career is not an evil man. He just had a bad day. I don't know. He's had other, he had I other read, hilarious bad days. Yeah. I, I've read a lot about how he blows up and has well, temper James, tantrums. James Cameron does that. So does Michael Bay. So does Russell Crowe. Yeah. Oh, well. They just need to, they need to calm down. Michael oh. Bay blows up. That's what I've heard. Did you guys have any that. beefs with the film? I It could have been a little shorter. My whole thing, it's the pacing from like meeting one character to the next kind of seems a little drawn out, but. Yeah, I feel like maybe, maybe 10. It could have been 10, a little tighter. minutes. Type but other than that, it was I. That and I don't know what I would have done differently. Mm-hmm. That's, that's kind of the thing about it. It's like you could make they, it serious. I think that would have been a bad movie, though. <laughs> the only thing is they they develop yeah, Chris Pine and <laughs> Michelle's characters like give them a whole backstory and you know all their details. But then it seems like they kind of throw Justice Smith and the Druid in there, and then they don't really explain much other than oh, our life sucks right now. Let's help get rid of this guy. And so it The seemed, Druid was really forced. She just... Is, she just kind of was she's there. She's just too useful of a character. She's yeah. so cool, for, though. For the MacGuffin stuff and, like, pl- which, again, is the, the, in the nature of the games. Like, we want someone with an ability that can solve a lot of plot well, problems. That's the thing is you show, <laughs> she, you show her abilities, but all she does is transform and you don't really know anything about her other than they're cutting down her no, trees. Yeah, you know, she was cast out as a child and we went to live that's, with the wood elf. But that's what I mean. That's all you know. They yeah. brush through all it so fast. That. Dude, the owl bear is the sickest thing yeah, it was of all cool. time. It's so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. Any other beefs, though? Other than, other than that, time, no. you, you don't have any beefs? I don't know what... I, I mean, I don't think all of, like, the comedy hits for me, like... Yeah, there was a few times where I'm like, I know that's supposed to be a joke, yeah, and like, I didn't well, a lot of like, A lot of, like, sitcom-style stuff. It was like, it's fine, but it's, kinda it didn't like bother the, me. The but, Marvel family-themed jokes, trying to hit at everybody. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it didn't bother me either, but I didn't laugh at some. Yeah, jokes. it's like it wasn't that. Uh, yeah, but that fat, it also wasn't as that fat dragon either. was pretty funny though. It was pretty. funny. There's a lot of great. There's lots of funny bits. Yeah, there's sure. a lot of funny stuff, which is that that does land. Yeah. So, all right, popcorn, puzzles. A sphincter says what? What? A sphincter says what? What? Exactly. <laughs> all right, I have a few puzzles. The directors opened up about Monty Python's influence on the film, with Jonathan Goldstein explaining that while the creative team wanted to make a comedy, they didn't want to mock the source material. Quote, We never want to go too far when it becomes a spoof of fantasy films, but we also wanted to be able to pivot from something creepy and traditional fantasy 
to an absurd, almost Monty Python type sequence, the director said. I think they do a good job with that. I do too. Especially with like the Red Wizards. I think that those are genuinely creepy and like the like the undead, like the weird guy in the shadows. Like it does seem like that the within the world itself it is taking it is taking itself seriously, even though like there's a remove of like making fun of like, you know, they, genre conventions and the you know, the board game nature of the source material. Mm. They totally still the joke about getting to the Quickie Mart headquarters and asking for Apu's job back in terms of <laughs> yeah. asking the question <laughs> yeah. to the dad. That was totally <laughs> they, from they the did, Yeah, that, uh, yeah. Right. That's really a question? Yep. Really? Uh, okay, Dad. Right. I hope this was enlightening for you. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Yeah, that was a funny bit. Like, there's lots of stuff like that. Lots of Kind of like Evil Dead if Monty Python put together. Yeah, yeah, there's like really, yeah, clever stuff with like... Nope, then I died. Speaking of the overweight red dragon, the party encounters in the Underdark... It's called Thimberchod. Chud. Thumb. Thimberchod. <laughs> you need to run these words through a translator. I mean, they said it in the movie. Thimberchod. A known powerful denizen of the Underdark. Oh, there you go. He's so a, it's real. So it was like a, it was like a reference. Thimberchod. Chod. Is in the, is in the, really in the thing. Uh-huh. Uh, the Johns. John Francis Daly and John Jonathan Goldstein were approached to direct the film after they left The Flash. They dodged a bullet. Yeah, they did. They, 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 a very literal one in terms of Ezra Miller. Oh, yeah, yeah. So surprising. And the frequent uh, pulling a firearm on people. <laughs> well, and robbing people. <laughs> yeah, and, and doing weird kidnapping. Breaking into and, homes yeah. and starting his own cult. Yep, weird stuff there. Weird. Uh, so that movie's coming out. Speaking of other Probably directors. That tells you how much money they invested yeah, that they're going to try yeah. and get it back. Chris McKay was in negotiations to direct, but left to direct The Tomorrow War. From yeah, it was going to be him and Phil Lord, and that's why I was all excited really? about this movie. Yeah, That you know, would have been... The same guys that did the Lego movie. I was all excited. Would that have been better? It would have been... I, it I probably would have turned yeah, out as good as I think this, it would have been probably the same. I think that that's the sensibility they would have brought to this. Yeah, I bet they would have had more of that stuff that you said we shouldn't have, like like it's board entirely game stuff. possible. The fourth yeah. wall break, which I mean, again, like they kind of have this in this. There's another moment now that I'm remembering it, like when they're at, during the games when they're looking at it from like the magic tabletop, oh, where the, the rich right. people are watching it. Yeah, like they, there's kind of some knowing references there, but okay. Well, but yeah, that's why it's I, in puzzles. I, again, I, I do think it's puzzling. But they were walking. It's gone through edge. so many variations. There was a lot worse combos that it almost wound up happening, like Ansel Elgort being the lead, which no, uh, he nobody has cares just for. Harmless man, like yeah, just exactly. no charisma. <laughs> yeah, I do not get him. good actor, but no person. I don't even know about that. I just. He's just not, he has no presence, no screen presence. Get him out of here. <laughs> Get him out. Get him off the screen. Get him out. He was great in West Side Story, which nobody remembers. I heard was he was bad in that. I heard he was like the weird, like, standout, like, weakness in that movie. But really? I, I didn't see it, so I can't say. Get him out, says Taylor the Impaler. That's right. Impale him out of there. All right. Well, any other puzzles before we go into redemption? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Your silence. <laughs> Your silence so. is very... Your silence behooves you. I mean, there are puzzles in this movie that are solved using ingenious uses of plot devices that are very related good. to the nature of the game and spells, etc., even though they have to acknowledge spells can't do everything. You can only solve certain problems. You have to believe in yourself. That's right. I have exercised the demons. As you know, Popcorn Redemption was created uh, because of Macbeth... <laughs> uh, I didn't know it was because of Macbeth, but that's good to know now that yeah. I've inspired a new category. No, it's not new. It's been around for a long time. But well, but I chose Macbeth, though. You did. It, it, it is because of your... My unique Your terrible selection. Hey. selection. Did you watch the Cohen <laughs> Macbeth? I never did. I've, I, did. I, I watched the first half an hour. The movie like, left, like that older movie left. It was like, it's, it's probably just not for me. That's no, it's, my it's, it's really good. The first half How an hour I watched. Be, but it's the same. But the acting is definitely a lot better. Mm, like Denzel, they bring a different, it's get, like a, get, no, they get, do it. Get like, out of here. Fool that. me once. <laughs> no, no, no. Shame on you. I don't need any it's, of that weird talking, weird movies. That's, Talk normal. That's the only crappy part <laughs> is that it's got the yield dialogue. Yeah, it's not, no, it ain't no iambic pentameter not. But no, it's talk I'm, straight and normal. Denzel should have won. He was really good in it. I would have believed that. <laughs> Denzel's great. He's an American treasure. <laughs> he he should have stabbed Casey Affleck when he beat he him is. that one year when he won for yeah. Manchester by the Sea. I recently watched uh, what's the one where he won the Oscar? 
Uh, training day? Training day. Yeah, he's great in that too. I never wanted to watch that because I didn't want him to be a bad guy. But Well, he's bad and man on fire. I mean. Well. I no, he's not. He's, he's a good guy. He's a bad guy. He's only a, a good thing. He's only a drunk. Hey, <laughs> he stole money in Pelham 123, but he made up for it by helping the city with those tour with those problems. Yeah. He yeah. always redeems himself. I would say like. Except training day. He was very comfortable torturing people in uh, training. But that was, that, was that was for the fire. That was for the good of good code of fan. I don't think that makes him, I don't think that page. makes him a good person. I think that he had just done some really dirty, dark, evil that things. Just means he would have been employed at Gitmo. I mean, that's why it's okay that it ends the way it does because it's like it's it's yeah, it's like he a, popularized butt bombs in that <laughs> film. Okay, and all right, we're we're, blowing we're getting people up from a second. Yeah, we're, 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 we're getting way off track. It's entertaining, which, regardless, which is all, what we do mm. and, uh, with this group here. So you're good. You're being a good dungeon master. You're that's steering us back. Exactly. On They're like getting like trying to like. Like, I, this yes. is what you're getting a taste like of what it's like to be in a game. Or something. Popcorn, the dungeon and master. And you're like, no, the world's going to end if you don't do this. You have to not be trying to murder people and rob townsfolk. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Yeah, there you go. Turning right. people into the army of the dead, the undead. What did you guys like? Popcorn Redemption. This is where we get to say the nice thing. So we end on a nice note, and then I want your rating. I Chris like, Pine is I fantastic like Chris as Pine. usual. I thought he... Michelle Rodriguez makes some interesting faces trying to be a tough barbarian. He's like, he's got that screen presence of like, it's like it's hanging out with a friend, you know? So it's like when you go see a Chris Pine movie, you're like, it's like, hey, it's one of my guys, you know? We're hanging out. I'd like to have a beer with that guy afterwards because he's all right. We're going on adventures. I like Chris Pine. I agree. Yeah. Which is, again, those Star Trek movies have too. It's like hanging out with my guy. I still need to watch Hell or High Water. He's wow, great in that too. Man. I know, so good. In you that. haven't seen that? I have it. I have bought it. That's, it's on my tablet. I haven't watched get it. Crazy. Get on it, dude. That's a great movie. It's a yeah. great movie. My <laughs> wife even liked that. I hate Ben Foster. I think that's part of the problem. It's He's great in it too. Out. He's also great. Yeah, no, it's a great movie. Yeah. Well, I liked from a D and D noob. I wouldn't even say I'm a noob. I'm an, I'm a. I wouldn't even. Yeah, I wouldn't non- even say that. It's just like D&D you're an outsider. Guy. I'm an outsider for sure. Yeah. I. It was approachable, like Cole said, a little bit, a little bit too long, but it was fine. It was fun. I don't think I'm watching this a ton again. I don't know if I will watch this again, but it's kind of a movie I, I like could definitely watch this or twice. On streaming and yeah, like you'd be like, yeah, it'd be fine to have it on. I would watch a sequel if they yeah. add one for sure. So yeah, uh, what do you what do you guys think? I, I mean, I agree. If this came on like HBO at my house, I'd. Sit down and watch with my dad. But, yeah, it's you know, fun. you got to watch this. Yeah. I think you'd enjoy it. I think if I were like younger, like a kid, I think I would have liked it a lot too. Like you still are a kid at heart. That's Inside right. is where it counts. That's right. <laughs> What's your guys' ratings? This is what I'm looking forward to the most, to be honest. A good amount of stars. I feel like I get set up at this part every time, you, and I don't like being attacked like this every time. <laughs> you you said that. You were you were going into this, Taylor. Uh, I, like, I will with say, low expectations. I will say that that is yeah, like kind I, of hating it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I would say that it has done well. All right. It, so it, it, uh, or you could make the argument the marketing team did it as this service. Oh, oh totally. uh, so you're saying with the, the way that they presented it is this too like in jokey internet humor type thing. I think the trailer made it look bad. The whatever I don't know. I think it was John Wick in front of John Wick is when I saw it, but. Yeah, really? I, I thought it, it could made have, it, it was look a week bad. before. It made it look like very grating and like just like uh, everything a joke for the like sake every of a joke like and just, just killing just, the mood. Yeah, just like some like a stand up comedian bombing is what the, <laughs> is what like the the trailer like. Well, and the trailers that I played, what's the deal with I, not enough dragons? Yeah, I was laughing at the because they're they're th- hammering it down your throat I, like I all know. these like. Like reviews, like this is the best yeah. movie ever made. I you feel like go yeah. see it. I think but. that a lot of people are probably the same camp as me, though, because you go into it thinking it's like this is some like mercenary project from a toy company, <laughs> and it's filled with all of this like, oh, gee whiz, Joss Whedon, wisecracking. Everyone's just a what constant wisecrack, and that's the thing about it. A lot of them aren't like it's really just Hugh Grant and Chris Pine who are like the really charisma like. I know everybody else like, is pretty serious. Yeah, like I time. mean, as far as like yeah, like the real like comic timing. Should they have renamed it like Honor Among Thieves, a Dungeons and Dragons story? No, oh, that'd be they, terrible. I that would be that, terrible. I, I hate that. Be a horrible. I hate that move. for the Star Wars movies too. I don't like that framing. All right. Like like what was it like Solo a uh, Star Wars a Star Wars story and then like yeah I don't like that stuff no okay no I think that this is what but you, you only it. give it a good amount of stars since I don't it, it think... swayed you way back y- yeah I would and you only that. give it a good amount of stars yeah that's like three out of four 
All right. He was prepared to give it no stars, though. I was. I was. I wanted to give it no stars. I wanted to. It actually it. took a good chunk. It, it ended, up, stars on it ended up not being the like the really irritating, bad YouTuber joke stuff. <laughs> I don't I It's hard to describe how that what that trailer made me think it was. But it mm. is not that. So I don't know. Interesting. OK, cool. <sighs> It's your hate, turn. I hate you guys so much. Uh, I, I, I was, I'm three and a half out of four. <laughs> yeah, he's got the bias. <laughs> no, I, I think it's fun. Like that's, But I thought you were going to give it four because it was your pick. Oh. No, I don't. I'll, shoot, I'll give it lower ratings if it's my pick. I'm Macbeth. I still stand by my two star rating because that made I couldn't understand what the hell they were saying. The movie looked cool. I gave that a zero. It, zero. The visuals were amazing. Flaming That's the only reason it. that got two stars. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and Not the good. acting, well, the dialogue, but three and a half. Chris Pine really delivers when he brings it. That's He's, a good point. I don't know that this would have worked without like that type of like likable actor, like a central upbeat role, spirit like, a, it, like yeah. a Han Solo. Uh, yeah, like a yeah, like a Harrison like, Ford, a, a, a charming rogue. Uh, like Matt Damon in the Martian. Which, I mean, he, like, is, he sells he it with his personality. He absolutely is that archetype of like. He is. The, he's the lovable screw up. He yeah, always made yeah, mistakes, yeah. but you're still rooting for him to come yeah. out on top, even though he's a her- terrible father. Yeah. I think, he, I think that's what was missing from, uh, you remember that movie Valerian? Yes, 100%. I never saw it. That movie, everything around that movie. Even the trailer looks so bad. Could have been great. Could have been really great, right? But the the leads are the most charmless, charisma-free like oh, yeah. like and they have no chemistry at all. Dana right. And they're supposed such a to be like choice. like have this like like on screen like they're supposed to be chemistry, yeah, and it's all just the it. most stale. It's it's, it's wild. It's, yeah. Again, I, and that's just there's, because of the there's lots main of, character. There's lots of cool stuff in that, like the virtual city. So and, uh, <laughs> sick, dude. Yeah, there's some yeah. really cool visuals. That's a great example of that. Yes. why you need like a well, charismatic presence on the... The other one that I always, I always think of is Fifty Shades, where the story was horrible, but then your leads have like zero chemistry at all, even in the trailer, to the point where it's like they hate being uh, yeah, around each other. That makes funny. me laugh. <laughs> mm, I'm only doing point. this because I'm getting paid, but yeah, this man, is really yeah, I gross. I don't know if they hated each other on Valerian, but you sure couldn't tell they liked each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, even the trailer, it just looked like, <laughs> like everyone was Not annoying. even like a friendly camaraderie, like just none of that. No warmth, nothing. But no, you get a lot of the, the, the charm and the the swashbuckling spirit of the the manga of Chris Pine's character. He, that Valerian was one of the reasons the theater chain in France I was working at, he like put up money for it and they went bankrupt. And I think this like France basically wound up taking it over because he like ran out of money. That's wow. It's too yeah. bad. It's too bad. Well, I've been known and criticized for giving too many golden buckets. And in this instance, I, might be going lower than I normally would go because I just just throw around good yeah. ratings. I'm going to give it a medium bucket. Whoa! All right. <laughs> not not a large but, but, but. or a golden. I would say me- medium. W- it's not that you throw around ratings. It's that you tend to think about it more like a day later, I mean, and you'll no, get it. You'll update your opinion of it and be like, like no. ban- Banshees of Inisherin. We mm-hmm. have to deal. Well, there was with one other this. movie too. He's got remember. a rating inflation problem. We've got to bring that inflation down. You got to curb it. I understand what he's doing. Curb your and inflation. And I think it's fair. I mean, three out of five is. I, okay. It's not. It's good. I could give it a four. Here, here's where I could give it a four. I just, I just don't think everyone should see Dungeons and Dragons. I think there's a certain. Person yeah. Why should? Why shouldn't should everyone see it though? Like, I don't think my mom's gonna like this movie. But it's because it's fantasy. Like, no, she loves like sci-fi and fantasy stuff. I, I, I don't Why know. Why wouldn't she like a fat? Dragon I feel like, the, the, like well, that's convenient. Like, if you're that type of person, that might this the fact that All right, you're, is this way. I, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just no, trying I, to get answers. No, I'm not, I think, I think I'm not criticizing. Valid. I'm just okay. curious to know. I think. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, that not everyone. I know they made it for approachable to people yeah. like me, but I'm I'm a because I, I, I do like think that that is stuff. kind of a that that is kind of a thing because like someone like I mean you think the eighteen some of those, to forty five male is definitely targeted. Seem to say it's like it's like it's, there's no plot to this and like things are just super convenient and solve themselves, which is a reference to something. But I mean, if you didn't know that and didn't appreciate it, and you were like the stickler for that, I could see how you get annoyed yeah, while you get some one star reviews. Here's where I could I could bump it up to a four is if it's Friday night and you and you're Rebecca Black. Do you think your kids would like it? That's my question. I think my son would be terrified of the skeletons mm. and that weird creepy guy in the in the shadows. In the shadows. The guy they're trying to resurrect. And when are like the, yeah. the wizards when their faces go crazy? 
Yeah, that I think. He, okay, fair he, enough. He's just a sweet young lad. He hasn't been. He hasn't been corrupted yet by yeah, the he, world's evil. That's that's part of the reason why I was just apprehensive about Guardians. I know, I know. I you know. say it, hearing yeah. that makes me go. Yeah, you probably shouldn't see Guardians. <laughs> so I guess what I'm saying is, if it's Friday and and you're you know scrolling on Netflix for 75 minutes. And there's just like, oh, I guess maybe I'll watch that now. I won't watch that. Uh, what is this? I don't want to watch that. You could just throw this on and it would be a fun time. Yeah. Exactly. So may, that's where it's I would a, say. Yeah, it's afford- definitely a popcorn movie. It's a good popcorn I, movie. I can see where you're coming there. from. People like your mom or my yeah. dad would have questions because they're not too familiar with it. And they'd be like, well, what What was the deal with this scene or this and this? Which yeah, I see they don't have a Sherpa. Like, <laughs> I can see where you're coming from. Pal- Paladin Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they also grew up around it more so or knew of it. I, I mean, does it still have the like the Satanist cult like kind of yeah, when I was it a did kid, when it was like I, when I was a kid, I remember like, hearing that it was this. No, it, you were banned from playing. It was like, That's, yeah, it was no, like, no. I'm not even with, saying, I mean, this is truth. No, I, I could not even play this game because yeah, my no. parents That's what I rem- that was. That's what I remember growing up. Is that I remember like from that generation, but I think, I don't, I don't think they're scared of it anymore. Now they've oh, become I don't like think Harry so Potter anymore. and yeah, Pokemon no. as opposed to. Well, Pokemon. yeah. And, I think the targets have moved for sure. But and, yeah. and as I grew up, I it's wasn't just, a, I wasn't an adult when Harry Potter came out, but it was the same thing yeah. in, our, in the community where I'm it's, from. It's like, but that's, you can't read Harry Potter. It is Satan. They move on to something else. To learn what. Dungeons and Dragons actually is after like how it was presented. It was like he's like, oh, I can't do that. It's communion with. It's like it was like using like a what you might call it, like a Ouija, Ouija board. board. Yeah, it's like you you are inviting demons, demons into your home. Into yeah, your it's home. like when you like look at what it actually is. It's the funniest thing. And yet you could buy a Ouija board at Target, which is the weirdest thing. Like I, I've always been able to buy yeah, one. Even I feel like we're so against it. Yeah. all parents should be like, you should be playing D and D because it would yeah, keep it, you out of trouble. Man. Nothing, Lego, uh, yeah, Legos and D and D spur the imagination. It's, it's, man. Yeah, it's creative. It's a, so social. Uh, yeah. there's a lot to there's a lot for it. I would argue. I know it's you amazing. Have math. You have to use the learn probabilities. It's amazing Pulse. that it's so. People are so against it. Just using your imagination. So I'm going to make the argument. Yeah, and actually, no. Yeah, I would make the, that's another argument for it. I would say is like to show it to anyone who was like fell into that '80s Satanist panic. <laughs> about it. It's like, mm. This is what it actually is. I mean, it's just maybe it is a large bucket it's then. Goofy fantasy stuff. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's a large bucket. Good acting. What good production? The special effects I thought were great. I don't know what. Yeah, the, the reviews, reviews were last that, week. Yeah, that's strange to me. They were like, so angry especially about especially hearing CGI. that that's what the budget is. It's like no, I CGI it was awesome. Hundred percent looked like all the all of the effects were like it was real. Point. Yeah, like they it looks like they did a lot. Of, yeah, again, we mentioned it. Earlier. Even that mirror, lots like of, getting in and out of that wagon. Yeah, lots scene. of practical stuff. Yeah, oh, I wonder yeah. how did they do that stuff? So they get, there's a lot of creative, like clever, like filmmaking tricks yeah. there. There was yeah, like where the gravity right. shifts when they walk through the like the portal and. Yeah. I'm changing. I'm changing my rating. It's it's a large bucket. See? Yeah, I, I yeah, I, yeah, I, I agree with that more. Medium, I just I think yeah. it's better than I thought. It's it was better. Th- it's better than that. It's better. But, but it it's also better. not like a blanket recommendation. Go see this. To go hog wild. Have to, to give it an this. award. Yeah, yeah, it's not a golden bucket. Like yeah, you no, have to see it or yeah. you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah this oh, is no, not like, even yeah. close. You should see it if you don't have anything else to do. It's a fun movie. Yeah, it's great. That's what I would say. Yeah, yeah, fun movie. Fun movie. All right. Anything we missed? Um, no. Well. Roll the dice. That r- Roll that 20-sided <laughs> die. That's it for this week. But I am with you always. Look for me in the cloud at Popcorn Priest. I love movies and would love it if you would share the love. Share this with the movie lover in your life. Another way to support the show is by throwing a few shekels at the priest by visiting patreon.com forward slash popcorn priest and see what extra perks you can enjoy. You can start calling him D20 Tribe. That's That's right. right. tribe. Yeah. Roll a D20 Tribe. That's right. If you made it this far. No, I like Taylor the Impaler. <laughs> it's very good. It's the best of all time. <laughs> Go give us a five-star review on Spotify or Apple Podcast. I command the... As always, thanks for listening, and thanks to my reoccurring guests, Albert Cole and Hither and Thither Taylor. Appreciate you guys <laughs> joining this. What, what did you call it? We're a party? Yeah, that's right. We're a party. We're a party. A questing party. We're a questing party to give you the best An information. An adventure skilled. Yeah. yeah. And we, we meet every... The most entertaining information about entertainment. Yeah, we meet all the time to give you these, That's right. these informations. Yeah. Remember, when you watch movies, you can pop off, pop in, or pop out. But always bring the popcorn. Popcorn.